Hello survivors, welcome back or welcome to the channel. Either way, you're here and I normally have a brand new recipe video waiting for you for Thanksgiving. Well, tomorrow's Thanksgiving and I don't have one. But what I do have is over 10 years of videos that I put up on this channel and uh, I've gone through and I picked some of my favorite holiday recipes or Thanksgiving recipes and I've showcased them in this video. So I'm gonna basically talk over them and show you what, what we've done over the years. Maybe you've already seen them, maybe you haven't, but I hope you enjoy this video. Cooking with the vegan zombie. Okay, so for the first video I'm showing you, we're taking it back to the Tofurky ham. Tofurky actually sent me this and I'm making their Hasselback ham. They came with a recipe, so I decided to try it out and I'm loving that Pyrex bowl there. We got some apple wedges and there's the ham. You gotta take that plastic right off it because you don't wanna cook it with it on. I've seen people do it. And the apple wedges go right in there. We got the glaze. Look at that Pyrex. And there it is. This is one of my favorites. It's delicious. And we're gonna go way back for this next video to the beginning. What's up? Welcome back. We survived another week. Today, we're gonna make something called seitan. One and a half cups of the vital wheat gluten. So we started this channel many, many years ago and we wanted to give people different options. This is one of many seitan recipes we've done over the years and I think this is only our second video ever. Ready to make some cutlets, I know I am. One, a two, a three, and four. Oh, it looks good. This is our finished product. As you can see, there's only three because I ate one of them. With it, it's fine, but it freezes really well, so hope you enjoy it. All right, so this next one is our pumpkin roll recipe. Pour the pumpkin mixture into the flour. <laughs> we would get together once or twice a month for a video. It's making my life easier in the long run. I'll show you later. And here's Max. You're gonna be famous. Freezing it makes it a little bit easier to spread. This is flop. That was pretty good, huh? Ooh. And we are done. You wanna to try to spread it out as evenly as possible. Very carefully. And you can find a lot of these recipes in our cookbook, Cook and Survive. It's always weird for me. If you let it freeze for about an hour. Hey, should I take stuff off the fridge? This one is stuffed acorn squash. Because I am who I am, a professional zombie killer, I just go boom, just like that, done. Just a little. Little goes a long way. Now, if you're be. new to the channel, you'll notice that this is not me. This is John, and he was the first chef of the show, and I was behind the camera. And then that changed probably around seven years ago. 20 minutes, and looks like it browned on top a little bit. Which one should I try? This one is twice baked sweet potatoes. And we would take turns. Some recipes were his, some were mine. Got the sweet potatoes all scooped out. A little olive oil in the pan, maybe a quarter of a cup. Everything is always zombie free. All right, so we're just gonna finish this up with a little bit of pepper. And there's the twice baked sweet potatoes. Delicious, easy recipe. The next one's gonna be butter beer. Butter beer. Now traditionally, butter beer is not vegan, but tonight we veganize it. So here's a very simple recipe that you can bring to all your Harry Potter parties. So let's get started. So the story behind this one is back in 2010 or 11, I went to Universal Studios and I tried to get butterbeer, but they wouldn't give it to me without the whipped cream on top. So I made this recipe. There you have it, a vegan version of butterbeer. <sighs> top it off with the whipped cream. Zombie be goddess. Indy the puppets. I gotta go work on my magic spells. Here's an easy recipe for vegan gravy. Oh, gravy all over me. And this one here is my lasagna recipe. You can use diced tomatoes if you want. Either one will work fine, but like a low simmer. Boiling water here. I'm gonna put the, uh, uh, these are almonds. <laughs> I have to say, watching this while I edit is really making me hungry, and now I want lasagna. 
And speaking of lasagna, my niece Katie wants to make a lasagna recipe video with me soon. All right, well, I guess it's time to try it out. Mm. And I had to add the lasagna roll recipe that we have, which is also in our cookbook, our ebook. Stand it up on its side. Drench it in the sauce. Tip thin. So I'm gonna slice this on the bias. This one right here is John's maple glaze tempeh recipe. And tempeh is one of those things that you just gotta cook it right or it just doesn't taste good, at least to me. And he nailed it here. I mean, the, this glaze that he put on it, I know he was joking about it. The presentation wasn't right, uh, but it was really good. You can find the full video here on the YouTube channel. This recipe is our vegan meatloaf or neat loaf. And that's what we're going for right there. Worcestershire sauce made by Edward and Sons. Now all you have to do is just take a fistful of it and cram it in there. Spread out a nice layer of catsup. Into the oven she goes. Set on the cutting board, let it cool down a little bit. If I recall correctly, we filmed this video several times. The first time it just didn't come out right. The second time it did, but the sound wasn't working. And then we were going to give up on it, but we tried it one more time and here it is. And most importantly, it's not gonna turn you into a zombie. Here's one of our most underrated recipes. It's our post-apocalyptic pot pie. And in my opinion, it's one of our best recipes. Just plop it on top. Over the years, I've made this recipe for so many people that wanted to try vegan food but were kind of hesitant to do so. I've made it for my parents, for friends' parents, and this one has always been a crowd pleaser. In this video, John is making pumpkin cream cheese. We spent a week making a lot of pumpkin stuff. And coming up the next video, we're making pumpkin pie. Cut this off. I'm not one for fancy schmancy with my pie, so I'm gonna, nice paste. Next, we're gonna blend that all up. Start at a low speed first to get things going. Pour this right into our pie crust. It's your last chance for pie. Comment below if you know the movie that was from. Man, I love pumpkin pie. I love the coconut whipped cream on top. And I love that pumpkin-y flavor. It's like Thanksgiving is here right now. That is a perfect piece of pumpkin pie right there. Take five. Take six. Oh. <laughs> Take nine. Eating the pie. Oh. And we're gonna eat it. I told you we did a lot of pumpkins. So this one right here, we actually roasted the pumpkin and John made some pumpkin soup. Whenever you're blending a hot liquid, it's very important to have a good blender in your house. There, this is marjoram. It, it just feels good on the way down. Uh, this one right here, I'm making some pumpkin rolls along with some pumpkin skulls. I thought that would be fun. And this was only about a year ago, so maybe some of you guys remember it. They're also super delicious and they're easy to make and they're perfect for the holiday season. If you try them out, let me know in the comments below what you thought of them. We're just going to, probably could have had a little bit more flour and I'm gonna cut them. That's how it's looking. Skulls, look at that. That is, that looks awesome. I'm just gonna snip off a very tiny sliver of that. I don't, and there we have it. We got them two, two different ways. Mm-mm-mm. Just as I said, nice, airy, fluffy. <laughs> and this one right here is pumpkin stew. Look at that. Put it on the baguette, and it's so good, it makes John dance. Y'all ready for this? Put it right in the center here. Pop it over. Ooh. A teaspoon of salt! Slam dunk. And a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Well, it's good. This one right here is our vegan quiche recipe. Never had quiche until I made this. We're gonna finish it off by pouring some day on. Pour some day on me! Yeah, we had some weird ideas. Look at how well that held together. 
That is one fine looking piece of quiche if I must say so myself. Amazing. Little scoopy scoop there. I'm just gonna do four or five. Finding zombies is a lot like playing a lottery. Hey, you never know. And these are some of the best ravioli I've ever had. On to the brown butter sage sauce. About another quarter cup of sun-dried tomatoes. This butter sauce is amazing. Drop a little oil around there. Yes, yes. Clump of some fresh basil. Look at the filling in there. Mmm, yes. Time to eat you. And then we're gonna add our blueberry mixture to the top. This right here was our raw vegan blueberry cheesecake. Great little dessert if you're trying to eat a little bit healthier than the comfort foods. Indy, what's the Elvis word for friend? And if you want to make your food from scratch, here we have you covered. We made stuffing from scratch and it's really good and it goes great during the holiday season so check it out tell me that doesn't look like stuffing to you here's the stuffing it came out marvelous and when you're done with your thanksgiving or whatever holiday you can make a leftovers pizza like i do here and it might sound weird at first but try it out because this was actually really delicious and if i have all the the stuff this year maybe i'll do it again i think that looks good like that not like thanksgiving all over again there you have it pizza is served it's about nothing we're just gonna chop our broccoli remember that chopping broccoli so this is my broccoli cheddar roll, and I used to make this recipe for vegan Thanksgiving over 20 years ago, and I finally made it a few years ago on the channel. I like to make my own dough for this, but if you can find the pre-made roll dough that come in the little cylinders that's vegan at the store, you can do that as well. Uh, you just fold it over, put a little butter on top, and throw it in the oven. You got yourself a nice little broccoli cheddar snack. You go ahead and cut them, and that's what they look like in the inside. Check that out. Can you see how good that smells? Can you see how good that smells? I said that on purpose. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite one was. And if you've tried any of these, let me know. And remember, subscribe, survive, watch out for zombies, and I'll see you guys next time.